Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we are going to discuss about a very basic trigonometric identity. We will prove that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. And before explaining, kindly click the like and subscribe button. If you do not like, you can just click on the dislike button. It's okay. Let's begin. We will use two methods to prove that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The first method is simple and straightforward. We just substitute the value for theta of 0 and it will give us sine square 0 and cos square 0 is equal to 1. Now on this side we know sine 0 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. So taking square of 1 will also be equal to 1. So we have proved that 1 is equal to 1 if we substitute the value for theta is equal to 0. The second is we substitute the value of theta is equal to 90 degree and if we substitute the theta the theta is equal to 90 degree then we will have sine theta is equal to 1 and cos 90 is equal to 0. Again here taking square of 1 we will have 1 is equal to 1. So if we substitute the value of theta is equal to 0 cos theta will be 1 and sine theta will be 0 because sine 0 is equal to 0. And if we substitute the value of theta is equal to 90 degree, then sine 90 will be equal to 1 and cos 90 will be equal to 0 because cos 90 degree is equal to 0. Now the second method we are going to use is a geometrical approach. Now let's suppose we have a right angle triangle. This side is base, this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse. Now according to the definition of sine theta, sine theta is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse taking square of both the sides we will have sine square theta is equal to perpendicular square divided by hypotenuse square. Now this side here is the hypotenuse, this is the perpendicular, this is the base so we have perpendicular square divided by hypotenuse square. Now according to the definition of cos theta we know that cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse and here the base is denoted by this b and the hypotenuse denoted by h so we have cos theta is equal to b divided by h and taking square of this we will have cos square theta is equal to base square divided by hypotenuse square. Now if we add sine square theta with cos square theta, the left hand side will be sine square theta plus cos square theta and the right hand side will be p square divided by hypotenuse square plus b square divided by hypotenuse square and taking LCM of hypotenuse square, we will have perpendicular square plus base square divided by hypotenuse square. Now name this equation as equation number 1. Now according to Pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. This is the Pythagoras theorem. Now if we divide both the sides of this equation by hypotenuse square this hypotenuse square will cancel out with hypotenuse square and we will have 1 is equal to base square plus perpendicular square divided by hypotenuse square. Now this is equation number 2. We have proved that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to perpendicular square plus base square divided by hypotenuse square and we have also proved that 1 is equal to base square plus perpendicular square divided by hypotenuse square. Now if we look to this term and this term they are the same terms. You can just rearrange them by p square plus b square. You can arrange this as b square plus p square. Now again here the right hand side of this equation is equal. So the left hand side will also be equal. So we will have sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is the solution. That's it. Thank you for watching and click on the subscribe button.